Hey everybody, welcome. Uh, of course, I am Jim Traber, and uh, I've been doing radio for over 26 years, and I have talked many, many times on the radio about how to properly get your glove ready for baseball or softball. A lot of people put oil and Vaseline. It's all a bunch of junk. Now, the people that make the oil are going to be mad at me, but I'm letting you know there's only one way to do it. This is the way the big leaguers do it. And I want to thank Gregory's Sporting Goods Store, Greg and Joe. They're at 609 North Moore Avenue in the New City Shopping Center. We love that they're a part of this. I'm going to be doing my show out there. Uh, kings of baseball and softball gear, all the brands, letter jackets and more. Your local go-to sporting goods store since 1980. One. Okay, this is what you need. Obviously, you need a glove. You need shaving cream. Do not get gel. Get the foamy stuff, okay? You need a baseball. Sometimes you can use two, but I'm using one. And then you need a couple of long socks, okay? These work, but really the best are the sanitary socks, but we didn't have any sanitary socks, so these will be long enough. All right, it's a little bit messy, so parents, listen closely. You're going to have to help out your children, all right? So you're going to get the, uh, the shaving cream, and you're gonna put it inside the glove. And I mean you put a lot of it in there, okay? And you only put it on the inside, all right? See, I'm already messing things up. This is what happens when I eat, too. Julie makes fun of me all the time. I get stuff all over the place. I'm just a pig. I'm gonna take my wedding ring off while I do this. Uh, and then you're gonna take this shaving cream and you're just gonna rub it in the whole way. Somebody's gonna have to pick that baseball up for me. I apologize that it rolled off. But you're gonna put it on, lather a lot of it. Now you don't put any on the outside, you only put it on the inside, okay? So basically, and you can just rub it in there nice and hard, all the way around, everywhere, the entire inside of the glove. I don't know exactly why this works so perfectly, but I'm telling you, it has to do obviously with like the moisture and things like that, but it's perfect for the glove. Fire that thing in here. Thank you so much. I can still catch a little bit. Um, now you got to wipe it off here. So let me go ahead and wipe my hand and get this off of me. I don't know why I'm doing this because I'm going to get more on there, but I'll just make sure that I get most of it off. Now you're going to put the baseball right in the pocket. Now it's really important to put it where the ball is, where you're going to catch the ball, okay? You don't want to catch the ball up here or down here. It's right there perfectly in the pocket. Now you're going to take this. Boy, I've really made a mess here. You're going to take your glove and the way you want the glove to lay on the ground. So you'd like to see your glove lay kind of like that on the ground. So you're going to put that down. What I do is I take, now this is the first baseman's mitt, so it's a little bit easier. This is what I did. This is the position I played. You're going to take this side over here and you're going to kind of make it so that it wraps a little bit. Now what you're going to do is you're gonna get this sock, take one of these socks, and in the top of the glove, you're gonna wrap it around like this, and then you're gonna tighten it up really, really good. And I mean really good, as tight as you can get it, the top of the glove. So there's the first one, you put it right there at the top of the glove. Now see, see how that's gonna be perfectly the way you want your glove to uh, stay? Then you're gonna do it at the bottom of the glove. So there's one right here, two, um, and then you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to get it on the bottom and you're going to put it as tight as you can around it. So that's basically what it should look like right there. Now, if you don't have a bait, if you have like an infielder's mitt that's smaller, you can actually, and I suggest you do, put a lengthwise one as well so that you can really work because as an infielder, you really want the top of your glove to be soft because the balls will hit and they bounce and it, you want it to hit that glove and go into your glove and that's why you put the ball inside. So that's the way it looks. Then you take this glove and you set it aside for about 24 hours. Very simple. Don't even mess with it. All right. Then after 24 hours, you unwrap it again like this. Okay, you get, the, you get this off, you take the ball out, and then you get some paper towels, and you wipe this off. Now, it'll be dry, okay? It'll be dry. It won't be wet like this, so when you do it, it'll come off really, really easily, and you won't have a lot still on there. But after you get that done, then wipe the ball off and play catch with it for about 20 minutes. That's all you gotta do. Now. If you're buying big time leather gloves, which by the way, they have at Gregory Sporting Store, I'm just gonna let y'all know, big time gloves, um, you, you'll, you'll probably only need to do it once, but you may need to do it twice. But if you do it twice, I guarantee you that your glove 
will be ready to play. And, uh, and, and the worst thing in the world is when you play baseball and your glove is not ready because the ball will hit all over the place and it'll be, you'll be in big trouble. And I'm telling you, you want your glove to feel like it's an extension of your arm. This is the most important thing for you besides your bat in baseball. So you want to make sure this is the only way to do it. Trust me. I've been telling people for years, we have so many people around the Oklahoma City area and Tulsa and all around the state that have done this and have come up to me and said, wow, it's amazing. It is amazing. So good luck. Enjoy baseball. Love the game. And I'm so glad I could finally put it on video so everybody can watch it. Thanks a lot.